Hi, my name is Isabel Tate. And I'm Ann Burt. And, and this, this is, is the history, history of conspiracy theories. <laughs> to discuss the history of conspiracy theories we see in our world today, we can start by talking about the fake news we see in local and national news channels. In the recent election, fake news targeting certain parties was seen almost every day. For example, stories such as ISIS supporting Hillary Clinton and the Pope endorsing Donald Trump spread widely across the media. People didn't know what to believe, but even before broadcasted news and technology, fake information was still widely supported. Throughout time, people have been questioning the government and other things they don't understand, and try to justify these things through conspiracy theories. They express concerns and address important issues. Society feels the need to find reasoning for certain situations they are not in control of. We are scared when we don't know the whole story. Though not all conspiracy theories may be true, a lot of them have a lot of thought put into them and seem to make a lot of sense. But who writes these theories? Wow, is it time for the open letter? I think so. An open letter to Nostradamus. Isabel, take it away. Dear Nostradamus, in the centuries since your death, people have credited you with accurately predicting pivotal events in history, from the French Revolution to the rise of Adolf Hitler to the terrorist attacks of September 11th, 2001. According to you, the, wor the world is destined to end in the year 3797. How did you know it was going to happen in the future? Did you know? Sincerely, Isabel Tate and Ann Burt. Although it seems strange that one person could predict these events, historians think he was describing events of his time, and because these predictions are so vague, they are easily applicable to major events. Another well-known seer is Baba Vanga, who is a blind woman who is believed to have predicted a lot of events. She is known for her prediction that the 44th president of the United States of America would be black, and she is said to warn people of the 9-11 terrorist attack on the U.S. She has a lot of predictions for the future, including years and countries. The people who make these conspiracy theories are usually from a lower class that are addressing people of a higher status. Baba Vanga was a lowly and poor woman that became famous for her visions. The question is, did she make these through genuine visions or was it because of her social status? People of the lower class make these conspiracy theories because they feel they don't have control. We have a human need for understanding, so sometimes absurd situations give us a sense of control. Conspiracy theories have caused tension between government and the people for years in the history of the world. For example, conspiracy theories have played major roles in conflicts from the Indian Wars of the 17th century. Along with the Indian Wars, the American Revolution was affected by the conspiracy theories that the lower class have made. These people of the lower class who were making conspiracy theories were becoming more involved with the Indian Wars and the American Revolution. Unlike these conspiracy theories, the Salem Witch Trials was brought upon by the upper class because they felt threatened. When women were too educated or spoke up, the upper classes felt threatened because they could not control them, so they assumed these women were witches. But most of the time, the lower classes felt threatened by the upper classes. Although the history of conspiracy theories is great, they are more popular now than ever before. Our personal favorite conspiracy theory is the Mandela Effect. This conspiracy began by a paranormal enthusiast, Fiona Broom, who remembered Nelson Mandela dying in prison rather than going on to rule South Africa and dying in 2013. Fiona Broom was joined by many other people who remembered the exact same thing. The Mandela Effect is when someone has a clear personal memory of something that actually never happened, and many other people remember the exact same event with the exact same details. We're going to show you a series of pictures that many people have claimed to be an example of the Mandela Effect. <clears throat> One of my favorite candy bars, Kit Kat, has a dash in between Kit and Cat, right? Nope, there's never been a dash. A popular book and TV show was the Berenstain Bears, right? It's actually spelled Berenstain Bears. S-T-A-I-N, not S-T-E-I-N. Chick-fil-A is spelled C-H-I-C, right? Nope, Chick-fil-A, C-I-H-I-C-K. Fruit Loops? No, Fruit Loops. Luke, I am your father? Nope. No, I am your father. Cruz George has a tail? Nope. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Nope, magic mirror on the wall. So now that you have a taste of the world of conspiracy theories, do you believe them? Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.